Hey there folks, Luke here with the Outdoor Grip Review. Thank you very much for tuning in for this episode where I am setting up the Big Agnes Slater Ultra Light 2 Plus Tent. Now this tent was sent to me by Outdoor HQ. Make sure to check out their website. You will find a link in the description box down below. One cool thing about that site is that all of the gear that they sell, they actually test out and use. They have experience with it. That's why they're selling it because those products have earned their approval. So with that being said, let's just go ahead and set up the Big Agnes Slater Ultra Light 2 Plus tent. This is an ultra light tent and with that being the case that means that the materials are going to be thinner and since they're thinner I'm definitely going to use a ground sheet, a footprint in other words. Let's go ahead and pull everything out here. Take the fly, put that to the side. You have the poles, you have the stakes, and then you have the body. Okay so this is the front of the tent. Here's the door. That is the back. Make sure to situate this and point this in the direction that you want to, right? Now we're ready for the pole. You have a Y that goes to the front, then you have one single end and that goes towards the back. I'm going to start here at the back, put the pole in the grommet, then move to the front. I'm going to raise the pole up in the air, put it through one grommet on one side, then go over to the other side and put it through the grommet there. Now it's time to clip the body onto the pole. Very, very easy, very, very quick little process here. So as you can see here, these simply clip over the pole, just like so. Now with this clip here, it is a little bit different. You actually have a clip on the pole and this just slides up. If I can do this with one hand, slides up and goes over it just like so. You have another one of those right here. So the body is now connected to the pole. Let's go ahead and stake this out, especially here at the back. This needs to be drawn out, drawn tight, so you have all of that living area nice and open. Starting here at the back, pulling it out. Loosely stake it out first so you can make adjustments later on. Go to the other side, moving to the front of the tent. Getting both sides done. Perfect. Now that that's been done, let's go ahead and make some minor adjustments. Pull everything tight, get it where it needs to be. Okay, folks, so now as you can see here, everything is pulled nice and tight, exactly the way it is supposed to be. Pull tight here in the back and on the sides. Now, folks, it's time to move to the fly. There's only one way this goes since there's only one door. So as you can see here, the fly has been thrown over the top of the tent. There are a few things that we need to do to attach the fly to the body. Let's start right here at the front. On the fly, you can see you have this buckle. On the body, you have the other end of that buckle. So you need to clip that into place. Don't worry about making it tight. We'll come back to that in a minute. Perfect. Once you have the front done, go to the very back. There's one gray buckle right in the middle. Attach that. Perfect. That's it for the buckles. Now let's go to the sides of the tent. Now on the inside, on both sides of this tent, you have these tiny little clips. And then on the body, you have a little loop where those clips connect to. So right here, you can see that clip. And then right here is the fabric clip. Go ahead and connect those two together, just like so. Here on the edge of the fly, you have another clip. And that connects right here. To that loop. So once you have that done, we're ready to stake this out. But let's wait on doing that. Let's go to the other side and connect those clips. The process is identical to the other side. Just clip it on at the top, clip it down here at the bottom, and now we're ready to stake it out. Okay, so let's go ahead, pull everything tight, have everything staked out. I am pulling the fly here onto the same stake that I used for the body. And I'm also pulling it tight with a buckle. Staking out the side now. Okay, now it's time to stake out this side. That looks pretty good right there. All right, time to stake out the door. Both sides of it. Don't forget to pull it tight if you need to on both sides with the buckles. And right there you go. That looks 
great. That is how you set up the Slater Ultralight 2 Plus Tint. Now, of course, if you're in a really windy area, you're expecting some foul weather, you have additional guy lines, so you can pull those out, stake them out. Now, folks, I want to take one second here to do a Patreon shout-out to Derek W. Thank you very much for your support, buddy. It is appreciated. You rock. Again, folks, a big thank you must go out to Outdoor HQ for their support of the channel, for providing this tent for us to test out. Make sure to check them out on the internet. You will find a link to their website in the description box down below. So, folks, there you have it. That is how you set up the Big Agnes Slater Ultra Light 2 Plus tent. That is a mouthful, isn't it? When you go searching for this tent, it is a little bit confusing. Be prepared for that because there's the SL, the UL, multiple sizes, two person, to one person, and so on. Then, of course, there's the Plus, this version here. So, yes, make sure that you're paying attention to what you're purchasing. If you guys have any questions on how to set this up, send me an email. I cannot possibly answer and address every single comment and question in the uh, comment section on YouTube. It's just impossible with hundreds coming in every single day. All right, until next time, everybody, take care, strength, and honor. Be well. Yeah.